Uh, dear distinguished guests, dear Ms. Rajivi, uh, I'm Asal. I'm a 20-year-old student and a human, right, um, human rights act advocate for Iran. Uh, even though I was born in Iran, uh, I grew up in Luxembourg. Both my parents were political prisoners in Iran uh, because of their po political activities after the 1979 revolution. And during their imprisonment, um, they, they witnessed the uh, atrocities of the mullahs with the countless of executions of their friends, including the execution of my uncle, who was only 23 years old. As of right now, the history is repeating itself in the same prison walls that they were once in. Since uprising in 2022, there have been um, over 30,000 incarcerated due to resistance against the regime with over 800 executions in the last year. Recently, we've seen an inc incomparable kind of bravery from young women and men on the streets of Iran who have formed resistance units and are feared by this very brutal regime. We would like to tell you that my generation is standing by them in full support and we will do everything uh, to be their voice. As we have all accepted our duty to support our people in their struggle for freedom, um, the European Union has also to acknowledge their duty in regard to the Iranian struggle. The solution remains clear. We must listen to the voices of the Iranian people resounding through the streets, chanting for a regime change. There can be no compromise, no appeasement, no more soft talk. The European Union must take meaningful action. Dear Ms. Rajabi, you have inspired this generation and many women in Iran to never give up when you say we can and we must free Iran. This is our collective responsibility, and we are proud that the democratic Iranian resistance shows a great example of women leadership in this very challenging struggle. Thank you.